What's up everyone? This is Taiwan Hubbard with HU Hub and we're here to do a demonstration video with a portable inhalation unit. Uh, this is uh, produced uh, by the company Hydrogen Med and it was sent uh, to us and um, went through our testing um, procedure for recommendations uh, and it passed our standards and so we wanted to go ahead and do a demonstration video for you guys showing you um, the functionality of the device and just uh, how it works. So um, first of all the specs, this is a H2 mixed with air system uh, and so uh, it's pretty much a hydrogen um, generator uses uh, PEM technology uh, to produce uh, pure hydrogen gas uh, and mixes that uh, with air at about 1.3 or about 1.2 to 1.3 liters per minute uh, and so uh, the actual concentration that is sent to your nasal cannula um, uh, or at the your nasal cavity, I would say it's uh, anywhere between two to four percent uh, a gas mixture of uh, H2, and uh, and so that's enough for us to pass our standards. So we'll go ahead and get into the device itself um, and show you some uh, uh, of the actual uh, functionality of the system. So uh, first of all, uh, the system only takes uh, distilled water, and you don't need any other type of water with this system, um, and uh, that actually goes here. And so uh, the system actually has a little hatch in here, if you see, and uh, this just screws off. Um, and inside of this reservoir, uh, you will actually see that there is a filter. Uh, this filter needs to be changed every six months. Um, and uh, you can contact the company uh, to get that replaced. Uh, but this is actually where the distilled water goes. I will put that in uh, when we're ready to turn the system on. Um, and so I'll set that there. Uh, right here in the front side, this is your um, observation window. Uh, this will show you the hydrogen gas that's being produced. Um, on this side, you'll actually see that there is uh, your power jack. Um, and uh, this, is where your, this is where your power pack is uh, connected to. Um, and so I will show you that when we get to turning the system on. Uh, on the back side of the system, this is just your ventilation um, ports just to let the uh, heat um, uh, expel from the system. And then you have on this side, you actually have your port where you connect your nasal cannula. Uh, and that's where you actually end up breathing. Something else that this system does that's really cool uh, is it actually has a stationary stand. So on the bottom side of this system, it has a stand to help it from tilting. Uh, and this device itself has um, certain safety features, such as a uh, such as a shutoff uh, uh, such as a shutoff uh, sequence if the device actually gets tilted over. And so it'll shut itself off, and it'll give you an error sign like like E1 or E2 or E3. Um, uh, notifying you that the system shut itself off uh, to prevent any damage in the inside of the unit. So this stationary stand is very easy to use. You just pull it down and turn it, or you pull it down and turn it that way. So uh, it's a very easy uh, device to use. On this side uh, is actually where it pulls in air. And so that's your air inlet um, uh, for pulling in the air uh, and then um, in order to actually get into the inside of this, because there's a little filter that's inside of that. So I'll go ahead and show you that. There's a thumb screw down here at the bottom of the unit. And this thumb screw screws off and this side piece will come off. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you. So I'll go ahead and take the thumb screw out. So once this thumb screw comes off, you'll be able to see your air filter. This also needs to be replace every six months. So there is your air filter. Um, and this is uh, easily installed. It just slides into its little slotted area and you can take it off. That needs to be replaced every six months. Uh, and that also you can um, you can contact us through the HU Hub or you can contact Hydrogen Med uh, directly um, to be able to um, get that replaced. We can set you up with uh, their representatives to make sure you guys get that handled. This is the only reason you will be able to take this side piece off. There's no other reason outside of getting to um, your actual air filter. 
Um, and so I'll go ahead and put the thumb screw back in and then we'll go ahead and turn the unit on and show you um, how it works. By the way, um, you can easily take that thumb screw off with a quarter or a screwdriver. Um, it's not a big deal to get that off. Uh, now we'll go ahead and open this up and put in about 150 milliliters of water, distilled water into this reservoir. So I'll go ahead and uh, pour that in here. I already had it measured out. All right. And then we'll go ahead and go ahead and put the lid back on. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and plug her up and we'll turn turn it on and show you how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug the power pack into the system. Uh, and when we do that, it's gonna go ahead and turn the unit on. Um, and on the top side, you actually have your display. Uh, this display will show uh, particularly just one thing. It, it, it'll end up showing you the actual session time. Uh, the unit will run for 60 minutes and then it'll shut itself off automatically. Um, and so you can actually see that there. Oh, and that is actually the tilt function of the system. Um, so it gave the E2, mean error two, and it'll, it'll actually define these in the actual manual itself. Um, but that is one of the safety um, features for the system, uh, that if the system tilts over, it will shut itself off automatically. So if that actually happens, then you would just press the power button uh, once and then you'll press it again and when you do that that'll go ahead and start the system of producing hydrogen and so now it is actually going to produce uh, hydrogen gas and you actually can open up your hatch it has a little uh, has a few grooves right here to let you know uh, that this is where you want to push down at so you'll push that down and now go ahead and open that up um, and then you will connect your nasal cannula to the actual output port so that you can breathe. Uh, and like I said, the unit will run for about 60 uh, minutes and it'll shut itself off. Other than that, that is the functionality of the system. There are, like I said, there are a few um, uh, error codes uh, that will be listed in the manual itself. Um, I think they range from E1 um, <clears throat> to E1 to E4. Uh, for instance, like E2 was uh, the tilt function. If the device tilts over uh, too far, it'll shut itself off. Um, and then there's another functionality where if the if the line gets blocked, um, if you block the line, it'll go ahead and give you an error signal because you don't want to have to have any buildup of hydrogen gas. And so uh, that's just a few of the functionality safeties of the system. But that's basically it. It's just an on-off switch. Very simplistic device, very portable. Uh, the, de um, the device is not very big. Uh, like I said, it's about the size of a small purse or a handbag, a woman's handbag. Uh, so it's very portable. Um, and like I said, the concentrations uh, that you will get to your nasal cannula, uh, we measured at about 4%, but they market it at 2%. Uh, and so other than that, we'll go ahead and do a test video for the system. Uh, and we'll go ahead and test the milliliters per minute of the hydrogen gas. Uh, and we can test the milliliters per minute of the uh, air output that is actually uh, mixing the hydrogen gas with. And we can see uh, that it's actually going to produce 4%, um, from 2 to 4%. Oh, by the way, there's something else I wanted to uh, demonstrate for you guys. One quick and easy way to go ahead and demonstrate that your system or check on if your system is actually... Um, producing hydrogen gas um, and actually pumping the air through the system is just to put the tip of the nasal cannula uh, into some water. And so obviously the observation window will help you actually see that the system is producing hydrogen gas. Um, but this is one sure, uh, sure way to actually know that it's producing um, the gas production that you would think the system would. Now this is a high flow rate portable system. Uh, and so it's actually going to be moving somewhere, pumping somewhere around 1.2 um, 
liters per minute of actual air and mixing the hydrogen gas with that. And so the total amount of gas in this gas mixture is going to be about 1.3 liters per minute. Uh, and the actual concentration of hydrogen gas that's going to be in that gas mixture is going to be anywhere between 2 to 4%. Like I said, they marketed it as a two percent yield system. We tested it our at uh, we tested at our location of uh, a actual four percent concentration of hydrogen gas uh, within this gas mixture that you see here. Uh, and so yeah, so uh, the system's moving quite a bit of gas, and this is one sure way to know. Uh, other than that, um, we'll go ahead and do a test video for you guys, uh, demonstrating the actual gas production of this unit, and then. Uh, yeah, and then, then that'll be it. So you can catch us next time at the issue of.